All right, everybody, so do me a favor, like the video. You can always unlike it later. I know when I watch videos sometimes and I like them, if I wait till the end, I just end up going on to something else. So I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video, subscribe, and then if you don't want to change your mind, just do it at the end. It's free, it helps us with the algorithm. Um, so I have no idea how long this video is actually gonna be, but this starts with really the tie-in to uh, 1918, and then I'm gonna talk about SMMA as well. So, you know, this is a good tie-in and not really a bad one. And I hope you'll watch because I think that, you know, when you get into help in your daily life, your daily business, this is definitely something that you can find uh, useful, what I'm about to say and share. You know, our way of thinking in regards to um, really all things is the foundation that can take us eventually to a much, much better outcome. Our perception is so, it's so very important always, but especially in a time like right now. And this and the way information is distributed is part of why we won't see 50 million deaths like the world did in 1918. And I'm not downplaying this at all, so I don't want you to get the wrong impression. Um, even one death is one death too many, obviously, and it goes without saying. But, you know, before I get started, I'm just going to say that, obviously, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not an expert on the coronavirus, uh, and I'm not a medical doctor, and I think it goes without saying, but just to be extra sure, I wanted to throw in that uh, that brief disclaimer. So, you know, in 1918, there were some major, major societal and technological differences that are obvious. But when we're in the thick of it, we can all forget and get tied up in the panic of the pandemic. It's normal. So I'm going to start with the most obvious to myself. I want to make sure that this is still taping. Yes, it is. Maybe I'll edit. Maybe I won't because I hate editing, as some of you know. So I'm going to start with the most obvious to myself uh, in terms of points. Okay. So, you know, medicine was not as advanced and this was all encompassing. Name a situation that requires treatment and the modern world is way, way ahead of 1918's uh, abilities. You know, we have the ability now to test and diagnose and then create treatments and vaccines. We have, you know, history on our side, really, because this gives us a big advantage by having points of reference that we can actually look back at, look back upon and actually learn from. So this also, you know, can provide us with a tremendous level of uh, foresight, which was not possible over a hundred years ago. So we're able to actually move a lot faster than society ever could back then. It's, it's not comparable. It's not close. We all know that. Sometimes I think that, um, <clears throat> no, I'm not sick. Don't worry. Um, sometimes I think we need to be reminded of that fact, not the fact that I'm not sick, but the fact that we're able to move a lot faster than society back a hundred years ago could. We can move a lot faster scientifically, um, production-wise, everything that's required logistically in order to overpower, overcome the situation and get to the other side uh, and end up being in a positive situation. So even the more simple recommendations that the public is given are superior now, like knowing not to touch our faces, for example, and the ability for most of us to, you know, have the means to, to wash our hands with soap and water. Not everybody could do that back then. Unfortunately, now, you know, some people in some parts of the world still can't, um, but most people can, and obviously much more than back then. So, the convenience of having things people need close by in most countries uh, is really a very, very big advantage in a situation like this. So imagine, you know, imagine what would happen if we were living in 1918 and at the start of the pandemic and just went about our daily. You know, I'm sure this would not involve face masks being used 
being as available or being used as properly. And so, so social distancing, I don't think, you know, it was adopted early, if at all, in most cases. And I'm sure at some point people would have understood that contagious means stay away, but likely not the way it's understood today. I don't think in 1918 there would have been the term um, social distancing that made things as crystal clear in terms of what you need to do to keep things at bay. The biggest difference, of course, is, you know, the internet, our ability to monitor how effective the methods we're using are in terms of slowing the spread to actually flatten the curve, as they say. And until Big Pharma figures things out, you know, with viral treatments and eventually a vaccine, this flattening the curve is crucial. And even when things open back up, which I believe um, won't be no later than June 1st, we're right now uh, April 14th. I think that's the worst case, June 1st. Um, you know, no matter your current situation, I wanted to remind everyone that this will indeed pass and everything will be okay for anyone who, you know, lost friends um, or loved ones. You know, uh, I'm truly sorry you've had to go through this and I, I wish you my condolences. Um, for business owners and employees, I'm quite certain that by early June, like I just said, most businesses are going to be open again and ready to receive clients as normal. I have believed this from the start and in my opinion it is easy to discern due to the economy being needed to thrive for everyone's economic well-being. I mean a shutdown of everything for much longer, it's simply not in everyone's best interest because economic death also causes bodily deaths too. And in certain industries it may or may not take a bit longer for their respective clientele's to go back to normal behaviors and this could possibly slow activity progressing back to normal levels where you know business depends on the close proximity of many people obviously you know people being together in in close quarters so um one area that i feel will be modified once reopened is the sporting events i don't believe teams are going to play in front of full stadiums and arenas for now and in the future you know we may even see large areas like theaters and sports arenas that have more modern seating that sanitizes and even goes maybe a step further and gives you your own personalized dome and <laughs> delivers oxygen to your personalized enclosed seated area so you can you know spectate in comfort with you know knowing that you're free of any virus or any contamination it's a bit crazy but it could be the new norm. Now, what I want to say about SMMA is that, you know, for a lot of you that may be um, very concerned, for lack of a better term, I want you to try your best not to be. And, you know, on a scale of, you know, one to, you know, the height, ten, because it may not be possible for a lot of you to completely eliminate your, um, your stress level try to keep it low because in the end you will be fine your business will be fine and it's more about the your techniques that you use and how well honed your skills are than the current climate because if you think about it those of you that were doing well before most businesses shut down and if most of your niches are shut down obviously you're not doing as well at this moment but you will Go back to doing well once things open up again because it's your strategies it's honing your skills and your techniques and i'm going to show you one way i'm going to give you one example to get your phone ringing off the hook when businesses reopen up slybroadcast.com good service unrelated it's a third party and no i'm not putting a link down below and no i'm not looking to make money with an affiliate link you'll go straight to the site to use it and what it does actually before I tell you what it does I'm going to tell you what the game plan is to get your your phone ringing off the hook you're going to want to leave and it's a software that's going to do this for you you can leave thousands of messages to business owners within 10 minutes you record the message one time one time only and you can use it as much as you want to use it and what you want to do is for your niches that are closed 
And by the way, the software, so I'm ending up telling you what it does before the offer, but that's okay. What this software does is it will not ring the phone. It will bypass right to the, the business's answering machine, which is what you want. That way you get 100% deliverability on good numbers. And believe me, if you want somebody to hear something you have to say, it's not going to be an email that's going to get you the highest deliverability. It's going to be a voicemail. Every business checks their voicemail. And you're going to want to start off by saying, we are giving your business, and you can pick the number, but I suggest that you make it substantial so that people want to get back with you and you want to be want to be able to deliver regardless of what business you're you're marketing to. So when you reopen your business, we're going to be giving you a $300 credit. Again, use whatever amount you like, but make sure you can deliver. When you reopen your business, we have um, decided actually a better way to do it because you're not going to do this for every business in the world. So we've chosen a group of businesses like yours that we're going to give a $300 credit to as soon as you reopen your business so that you can advertise yourself on the internet. You don't need to know how to do it. We will do it for you and it is a free offer. Call us at dot 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 to get more information and you can claim your credits right away, no purchase necessary. Now, what's going to happen is your phone's going to ring off the hook and you're going to have a captive audience for two minutes on that phone. And if you want the rest of what to do and how to do it, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let me know you actually watched this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. And in the comments down below, let me know that you liked it and that you want to hear more so that you have the full, complete approach so that when everything reopens, you can reopen with a bang. Thanks for watching. Be healthy. Take care.